20-year-old Joy Faith was born with both legs, but on the 16th of April 2019, she was involved in an accident in her hometown of Naivasha after coming from a study group with her friends. It's a painful but defining chapter in her life. The truck came from behind us. We were walking as a group, came from behind us. It had lost the brakes and it hit us. Um, me and my other friend got, we got the most damage. The others uh, got with barely a scratch. She was dashed to Nakuru Level 5 Hospital where her father was working at the time as a nurse. As she was undergoing emergency treatment, the orthopedic surgeon who took up the case made a startling prognosis. The severity of her injury meant her legs had to be amputated. The person who called me told me one of the limbs looks like it's crushed. So from the knowledge that I have, when you are told the, is a crushed, the, there was an, a, a crash injury, unajijazia. Tulipo ingia daktari ya kaniuliza. Mam, nikienda kwa dieta na fei, nifungue hii migu yake, unataka ni itibu aje. Mimi nikamuambia, wawe ndiyo daktari, mimi nimekuletea mtoto, nataka tu mtoto yangu wapone. Joy Faith pleaded with her father, asking him to intervene when she realized that her legs would be amputated. She tried to lift her legs. She found she did not have the legs. That was the hardest moment I have ever faced. Her life changed after she left the hospital and her family was forced to make major adjustments. She left the hospital with a wheelchair. And now you see our house had these stairs. We did not have a lamp, so we had to renovate the whole house. Whether it is the washrooms, we had to make them disability friendly. We had to make lamps in our house as you enter we made a lamp so that she can enter comfortably with a wheelchair and she can move in the whole house with a wheelchair which was not there when we were building the house swimming was her passion when she was able bodied but in her current condition it felt like that was the last thing she would still be able to do all that changed one day while in the company of her friends we were, we were hanging out with my friends the last time before now we come for campus and there was a pool where we were, so they dared me, like, and I was like, ah, and then, just try. You see, like, they push you, just try. And then I entered shallow and I tried floating, and I was like, oh, I still can't float, okay. That experience, being back in the swimming pool as a double amputee, proved to be a reflective moment. When she joined the Catholic University of East Africa, she continued with her hobby until one day she met up with Coach Leland Salano, who had seen her swim numerous times at the pool located at the Kenya School of Law. He sees me and I'm able to try this. I, I try. And then you see, oh, it's working. Okay, it's getting like a little bit easier. By that time, you pant a lot. You can't really finish up to the end without stopping. So uh, he, he tells you to do this. Ama sometimes I'll just listen while he's telling other kids that he was training. Salano, who has more experience teaching able-bodied swimmers, had to adapt his coaching skills to accommodate her disability. But we are able now to work with her upper uh, body strength, of which involves the hands, that of course come in handy when it comes to the breaststroke, the freestyle, and even now the butterflies. She's now aiming to represent Kenya at the Paralympic Games in 2024 in Paris. Maybe represent my country in the para swimming, the Paralympic one, now the swimming one. Now we have to uh, do what we can, say as a club, to see how far can we go with her. Because she's willing and she can do so many things that even the able, the able people are not able to do. Elijah Oko, NTV Sport.